Bonjour. So, uh, check it out. So what we're working on today is today we're working on the quadratic equation. Yay. Quadratic equation, this is a big deal for factoring. Okay, so this is a big deal for factoring. Now, in the past we worked with x-factoring, which was awesome, and it was quick, but it doesn't always work. And that's the problem. Quadratic equation, uh, sorry, x-factoring that we've done, or the diamond method, works out. You good? Oh, no, I'm on my you just, TV. You look so excited. All right, so, all right, so. Yes. I, <laughs> hello, interwebs. So, uh, anyway, um, with quadratic, with, with regular uh, factoring, with x-factoring, with diamond method, it works quickly, but it doesn't always work. It's kind of like a Ferrari that you have that that can break down often. So um, it's kind of like you're like I got it, and it's good to use from time to time, but it doesn't it doesn't always like work out for us. Okay, so so far are we okay? All right. Now what we're going to learn today is kind of like the Honda Accords of uh, equations. It's not the most flashy thing, but it, it definitely will always get you where you want to go. Okay. All right. Unless you're up on like the peak of a mountain and not Honda Accord time. All right. So. And uh, no disrespect to Honda Cores, they're wonderful cars. All right, so, all right. <clears throat> so uh, the quadratic equation. Now, let's think back to we had, um, we have trinomials, which look like ax squared plus bx plus c. Y'all remember this? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so, and then we have our leading coefficient, and the leading coefficient is always a, then we have b and c. There is this um, magical equation, and the equation works like this, and I'll, t I'll, tell you, I'll tell you two different ways to memorize it, okay? Are you ready? Yes. Alright, way number one, it's a story. This is a story about a negative boy who couldn't decide if he was going to go to a radical party. He's a radical guy. Alright? <laughs> Unfortunately, the boy was a square. <laughs> and he missed out on four awesome chinchillas. What? That makes sense. Dude, I wanted chinchillas. I gotta say chinchillas because... I like the story. Okay, yeah. Alright, so, once again, it's a negative boy who couldn't decide if he was going to go to a radical party. Unfortunately, the boy was square and he missed out on four awesome chinchillas. Is this still in the screenshot? Is this... Uh, yes. Okay, and it was all over... Get it? It was all over. Oh, oh I get it. By 2 a.m. All right? There's no M. There's no M variable. All right, so. Did you make this up? No, I did not make this up. All right. I've edited it, though. All right, so, once again. All right, so. There was a, this is a story about a negative boy who couldn't decide if he was going to go to a radical party. Unfortunately, the boy was a... And he missed out on... Four! Four! Awesome chinchillas. And it was all over by 2 a.m. All right? So the thing about the quadratic equation, and uh, we're going to plug it in, we're going we're gonna to check it out. It works all the time. All the time. All right, so um, here's another way that people memorize it. Are you ready for this one? This is the one that most people, when you go to high school, this is the one that people will be running through, <clears throat> and the one that's mostly taught. It goes to the tune of Pop Goes the Weasel, and it goes like this. Here's my... <clears throat> la, 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 la. And it goes like this. It goes, X is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a What's that, bro? The other one? I like the other one. This is the one that you will hear during the middle of a test, okay? That you'll have other kids in the class, they'll all just be like, you're like trying to work on this, it's all quiet, and you're gonna hear like, <laughs> All right, so, um, so that's just ways people that memorize this quadratic formula. So let's talk about how do I factor using uh, the magic of the quadratic formulas. So here's our trinomial. Now, back in the day, we, we x-factored this. Okay, um, also known as the diamond method, which was we did a times c over b here. Is you remember this? Okay, and so um, in this case, what is our uh, what's our a? No, no, no. Our a is one. Oh, what's our b? Four. Okay, 
A and what's our C? Negative 1. Okay, it's important to know what each of these are. Okay, so according to the old way, let's talk about the old way. We would go 1 times negative 1, put it up here, and down here we'd put a positive 4. And we're like, hey, we're trying to think of two numbers that multiply negative 1, but add to make 4. Yeah, there's, there's nothing. Do you see where the x factoring method breaks down? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so now there's another way. All right? And so what's our new way? Uh, it's a negative boy, so let's do it. All right, so we have x is equal, and we have what's, we have negative. We're going to start, we're just going to just plug in for each of these. All right, so I got a negative boy, and he can't decide if he's going to go to a radical party. 16. All right, so I got to, uh, when we're a little more comfortable, I'll just go ahead and I'll plug in 16, like that. Uh, but then we're going to get negative 4 times, ooh, I'm running out of space. What's my, what's my A? 1. Uh, and what's my C? Negative 1. Negative 1. Woo, that's like no space, sorry. And all over 2 times 1. Is that a 1 and a negative 1? It is, I am so sorry, that's a 1 and a negative 1. That is so tight and difficult to see. All right, so let me start simplifying this. All right, so now I've got x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the root of, bro was saying? 16. 16. All right, and then we have 4 times negative 4. All right, so finishing, are, are you ready? Yes. You with me? All right, cool. So uh, what's this inside? 20. It's 20, all right, but don't sound so excited. So we're like negative 4 plus or minus the root of 20 over 2. How are we doing so far? Pretty fine. Is this okay? Can I do anything with the root of 20? Yeah, 2 root 5. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I have x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus, and you just told me 2 root 5. Does anybody need me to go over that 2 root 5, how we went from root of 20 to 2 root 5? No, we're good? That's what I'm saying right there. All right, so, and then, right, so, <laughs> that's the closest voice to the camera, too. All right, so, um, good. All right, so, um, Great, can I simplify anything? Do you, can I simplify yeah, anything? Okay. Alright, yeah. so the 2 can go into both that negative 4 and it can go into that 2 there. Alright? So how many times does 2 go into negative 4? Twice. How many? Negative, negative twice. twice. Alright, and then we have plus or minus, and then what's 2 divided by 2? One. 1. You don't have to write 1 root 5, because that's the same as writing 1x. We just, we're too lazy for that. So we're just going to say root 5. Is everybody okay with this? Yeah. yeah. So x is equal then to, let's just understand what this means. We've got x is equal to negative 2 plus the root of 5, and we've got x is equal to negative 2 minus the root of 5. These are my two roots of x. Okie dokie. Okay. Is this, is this making sense? Yeah. So the quadratic formula works like a boss on factoring things that we can't do on the, uh, the diamond or x factoring method. Good on that? Yes. Yes. Uh, go for it. Yes. How will you know like, that you won't be able to use the factor? How will you know? You don't always know. You don't just automatically look at it and know. Okay, but you can always do I'll tell you what. Quadratic formula will always work. All right? Whereas x factoring sometimes works. Um, it will work like this. Uh, right now, I want you to do quadratic formula because I want you to practice it without me. Okay. okay? All right? Right, so if the b, because it's negative b in the formula, if it's already a negative, then does it become a positive? It becomes a positive out here. Is everybody cool with that? Yeah. So if this, like, let's, we want to label our a and our b and our c. So what's our a here? One. B is? Negative a. And what's our c? Six. So that means when I plug in for negative b and I'm plugging in a negative 8, that gives me a positive, positive 8. On the outside, we have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4a and c. A. All right. So on the outside, basically, we have uh, positive 8 plus or minus root of 64. Is everybody cool with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Minus 64. Okay. Which these will cancel out all over 2. All right. So these two do cancel out. Is everybody okay with that? All right. So then we're finding the. Thank you for those young. Um, so at least I know where I stand. All right. So. Um, so. <laughs> So now we have, uh, what are we looking at? Now that's gone. So basically all we have is x is equal to 8 over 2. So x is equal to just positive 4. Just positive. Oh, just positive 4. Why is it just positive 4? Why is it not plus or minus? Because there's no 
Because <laughs> the plus or minus thing was a zero. So you could say plus or minus zero. That's square root. Do you need it before you square root? And I used her name. I'm gonna have to cut that out. Can I redo it? This is a random student's pencil. This is my favorite student's pencil. Are there like things on the? No. Okay. So. All right. Here we go. All right. So, uh, what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Okay. This becomes a what? This becomes six. Okay. I'm, I'm glad two people can do that. All right. So six. 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 Back to focus, back to focus. Minus 12. Minus 12. 2. 24. So now we got? X equals 6. Minus 24. 24. Over 2. So then you divide by 2. And then it's 3. And then the root is 12. No, 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 no. We don't divide yet. We don't divide yet. 2 root 6. So I need, yeah, I need a 2 root 6. Over 2. Now I can divide. Now I can divide. But listen, listen, listen. You only can divide if it goes into both. Yep. Both of these guys. Okay? No, no, for real, for real. Okay? So, like, for example, if I had over, if I had over here, let's say I had x is equal to, I don't know, 8 uh, plus or minus uh, 3 root 5. And I had a 2 down here, 2, we would just leave it like this. You would leave it like this. Is everybody clear? Yeah. Because it, it has to go into both of these guys to, to simplify. Oh, so it has to go into both of Yes. Okay? In this case, it does. In this case, it does. Okay? So, and we can't just divide, uh, we can't divide a root of 24 by 2 and get the root of 12. Um, because the root of 24 or the root of 12, they're actually like longer decimals. They're not, they're not exact. I could show that to you another time. All right, so, in this case, we would be dividing these out. Okay? So, uh, how many times 2 go into 6? 3. So, and how many times go into 2? All right, just one time, so we basically get, you can say 1 root 6, or just basically the root of 6. So this is our answer. We have 3 plus the root of 6 and 3 minus the root of 6. Is that all right? Yeah? Anybody get that? Yeah. Okay, okay. I couldn't figure it out. Okay. Um, yes? Do you need one Yes. There's a question, there's a question. Yes? <laughs> from here, from here. Yeah. All I did, all I did in this case was I divided two into six and two into two. Let me move, let me move these out of the way. Huh? Oh, the root. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the root of twenty-four. Man, what? Sorry. Sorry. Attention. All right. So yeah, the root of twenty-four. Uh, we would break into um, four times six, and the root of four is two. So the he pops out as a two. Okay. I guess we can stop the video. So, bye, internet. Can I be in it? Bye. Huh? You're in it. Bye. 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 Bye.